Hello and welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Wise tales from around the world which will make you laugh and sometimes cry. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Well, hello Super Great Kids and how are you? It's the last day in 2023 and this is a New Year's Eve bonus story. Our little thank you for being a fan. This tale is from Japan. It takes place on New Year's Eve. In Japan, New Year is celebrated on January 1st. In other countries in Asia, like China, they use a different calendar called the lunar calendar. So, in China, New Year comes a few weeks later than ours. But in London and in Japan and many other countries, we're celebrating New Year right now. Here's a few facts about Japan. It's sometimes known as the land of the rising sun. Their flag has a round red circle on a white rectangle. Their national flower is the cherry blossom and their national butterfly is the Great Purple Emperor. And to start a story in Japanese, you say, Mukashi, Mukashi. Now, just before we start our tale, how many different ways do you know to start a story? For example, in Japan, they say, Mukashi, Mukashi, long ago. Now, can you remember what they say in Ireland, or in the Caribbean, or in Russia, or in Spain? Have a try while we have a quick word with the grown-ups. Ready? Off you go. Hello, super great kids. I'm back. I wonder what you remembered. Did you remember for though, for though, for though? Once upon a time in Irish, or había una vez, that's Spanish, or hadithi hadithi, that's right, that's from Kenya, or davnim davno, that's from Russia. And in the Caribbean, they say, ooh, each storyteller has their own special way of opening a story. Some say, quick, crack, and others, mouth open, story, jump out. I wonder how many openings you remembered. It's quite tricky, so well done if you got three or even two. Now, are you ready for our New Year's Eve story? Here's Masako. Hello, super great kids. This is Masako Kerry from Japan, and I have another Japanese story for you. Well, in Japan, more than Christmas, the New Year is a family get-together and we eat special foods. So my next story is related to a New Year. So ready for the starting of the story? Mukashi, mukashi. Do you remember that? So help me start by saying mukashi, mukashi. One, two, three. Mukashi, mukashi. Long time ago, there was an elderly couple. They were lovely and kind with each other, but they were poor. One day, the wife said, Ah, oh, husband, we don't have any more rice left. <gasps> no rice? That means no rice cake for New Year? How can we celebrate New Year without rice cake? Oh, that's not good. The wife went into another room and she came back with some kimonos in her hand. Oh, husband, these are not new, but they are made out of good material. Surely if you take them to the market, you can fetch some money. Well, I guess we don't have any other choice. 
So the old man, he put kimonos on his back and he set off for the town. It was quite far away. And when he got to the end of the village, he encountered a child god. They are stone statues called Ochizo-sama. There were seven of them standing together. These child gods are believed to be watching over villagers, travelers, and children. The old man, he put his hand together in front of these child gods and he prayed and said, Ah, thank you, thank you all the time looking out for us. I'm so sorry, I don't have anything to offer you at the moment. But if I can sell these kimonos, I might be able to get you some sweets in the town. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you. And he walked on. Oh, when he came to the town, it was buzzing. People were getting ready for the new year. The old man found a space in the market. And he started his work. Kimono, kimono, kimono ailanka ne. Anyone want kimono? It's a good material. It's like new kimono, kimono. How about it? How about it? But the people, they were so busy getting ready for the new year. No one was interested in second hand kimonos. And too soon, the sun came down. Oh, I couldn't sell any kimono. Oh, no rice. The wife is going to be disappointed. And just then, a man stood in front of the old man and said, Did you sell any kimonos? Not even one, answered the old man. Hmm. They seem to be in good quality. Tell you what, would you exchange with my straw hats? I made too many, you know. Would you do me a swap? The old man, to be honest, he didn't need the hats. But looking at this man, he felt sorry for him. And being kind, the old man said to him, All right, we could do the swap. I give you my kimonos and you give me your hats. Oh, thank you. You are so kind. They greeted each other and the old man set off with the hats on his back. As he walked, he felt cold and noticed a white thing was coming down from the sky. Oh, snow. No wonder it's cold. The walk back home to the mountain was quite hard. And when he got to the end of the village, he noticed the child gods were covered in snow. Oh, dear, dear, you must be cold. He took out his small towel and he started to take off the snow from the child gods. And then, ah, he got a good idea. After he took off the snow, he gave each child got the hat. So he started with the first one. It one, ni, two, san, three, yong, four, go, five, lok, six. Oh no! When he got to the seventh, he realized he had no more hats left. Oh dear, what shall I do? Ah, I know. And then he took off his own hat and then he placed it on top of the last child god, the seventh one. There you go. Please take my old hat. <laughs> and he gave the last prayer and left. Go, 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 go. I'm home. Hi, hi, here I come. And the wife opened the door and, Ah, oh, why are you covered in snow? What happened to your hat? 
Ah, oh, well, let me tell you. So once the old man settled, he told everything to his wife. Ah, husband, you did a good thing. You think so? I do. So that night, they both went to bed happy. Later, in the middle of the night, the couple woke up to a strange sound. Don't, 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 don't. Jisan no ie wa doko da. Where is the old man's house? And it was getting louder and louder, closer and closer, and dong, 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 dong. Jisan no ie wa doko da. Where is the old man's house? Ah, koko da, it's here. Da -da -da -da. A big noise was heard outside, and ah, the two of them were so scared they covered themselves with a foot on over them, and they shivered on their knees. <sighs> and they waited for a while. No more sound. So sheepishly they came out, and they carefully slid open their door. Shh! And there outside was a mountain of food, big sack of rice, and huge snapper fish, and sake, and mikan, the mandarins, and white radish daikon, and sweets, and many more. Oh, what is this? What is this? And two of them look over the horizon. They saw the child gods disappearing over the mountain. Oh, it's a thank you present from child god. Oh, arigate, arigate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So the elderly couple cooked rice cake. And with rice wine and snappers and all the other food, they had fantastic New Year food. And after they finished, they took some to the child gods. They gave the offerings and they prayed and said, We shall look after you from now on. And maybe because... That's what they did. The child gods seemed to have looked after them. And they lived happily and healthily ever after. Oshimai, the end. Thanks very much to Masako for that story. I'd like to try some sticky rice cakes on New Year's Eve, wouldn't you? They sound yummy. I like the way Masako uses Japanese words in her stories, like Oshimai, the end. Ah, oh, another happy ending story. Hooray! It's time now to dig deep into my bag of happies and say hello to some new owlets on New Year's Eve. Hello to Margaret and her brothers, Henry and Jack, from Dripping Springs in Texas in the US. Margaret became an owlet for her sixth birthday after being a fan for over two years. Her favourite story is Stick Woman, so hoo 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 and hello to you. And thanks to Gaga in Scotland for making Margaret an owlet. And let's swoop across now to Seattle in Washington, in the northwest of the US, to say hoo 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 and welcome to Marcella, who is seven, and Elodie, who is ten. Marcella just loves the ghost of the bloody finger. Woo Good for you, Marcella. And hoo 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 and hello to five-year-old Emilio in Reno in Nevada in the US. Emilio particularly likes the scary stories. 
He's only recently found Super Great Kids stories and he's been listening on his way to jiu-jitsu classes and during breakfast. His favourite story is The Hairy Toe. Thanks, Emilio, for sending us your exuberant drawing of the hairy toe. The old woman looks as if she's really enjoying eating it. Yickety yak. And let's swoop down now to say hoo 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 and hello to six year old Corrine from Mill Valley in Northern California. Corrine used to live in London. She's a new owlet and she likes Baba Yaga stories and song stories. Me too, Corrine. And hoo 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 and hello to five year old Charlie from Lexington in Kentucky in the US. Charlie's favourite stories are Stick Woman and the How and Why story, The Whistling Giants. Good choice, Charlie. They're two of my favourites as well. Up north to Canada now, Peterborough in Ontario to be exact, where new owlet Stella has her nest. Stella is six and a big super great story fan. Hoo 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 hoo! Hello and welcome, Stella. Hope you enjoy the extra bonus stories. And hoo 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 hoo! And thank you too to Sydney, who is eight, and Primrose, who is five, for giving us a little present on Kofi. They love listening on family car journeys. Thank you for your kind message. Glad you enjoy listening together. That's just about it for this year. I wonder if any of you could draw a picture of the child gods wearing their straw hats. Or send us a drawing of your favourite winter story. Send it to us on Facebook Meta or on our website, supergreatkidsstories.com. So, have a very happy New Year's Eve if you're celebrating. And, Owlets, look out for your extra bonus stories in early January. There's a super duper scary one coming soon. This podcast was produced at Wardour Studios in London.